It all starts here with the Masonic apron. Different kinds signifying different grades. Have you guessed what it's hiding yet? The genitals. Pretty obvious. Like everything else they hide once you can see. The genitals are the true working tools of a mason. Freemasonry is foundationally a sex cult, like Satanism, because it all starts with sex, doesn't it? Life itself starts with sex. So the mystical force of the true God of Freemasonry hides in the hidden part of the human body. That's the Holy of Holies, covered by the Masonic apron, the seat of God, the seat of Lucifer. See he was Satanist King Diamond's artwork? The eye is attached to the horn god, but look at where the eye starts, from the waist down. That's where the apron of a mason begins. And the one eye of Freemasonry is also the one eye of the penis, where life generates and springs forth. See the openly hidden secret of the Masonic square and compass now? You're looking at the sex act. That's the female in missionary position, and that's the male mounting her. The sex act. And the eye in the middle, with these emanating rays, is the orgasm and the ejaculation of the penis. See life shooting forth. That's how they see the sun and the earth too. The sun is the visible penis of their true God, shooting forth life continually. The light itself is the mystical sperm of the God of this world. The sun and penis generate life, while the earth and female womb produce life. The letter G, when replacing the I in the middle of the square and compass, stands for generation, sexual generation. The practical aspect of Freemasonry and Satanism's religion is that of a sex cult. You see Rod Stewart telling you he's a Freemason? By displaying the hidden hand of Freemasonry, also known as the master of the second veil, and look at his other hand, taking the Masonic apron's place for covering his penis which is the Holy of Holies, the seat of God for the Mason, and from the Grand Pontiff of Freemasonry, Albert Pike. Hence the significancy of the phallus, the penis, or of its inoffensive substitute, the obelisk. Straight from the horse's mouth, the erect penis graces us, or should I say disgraces us, with its presence in every country in the world, marking its territory, the Masonic obelisk, in our face, everywhere making its bold statement, yelling, screaming in silence. This is another reason why we're considered the ignorant and stupid masses. Another example of hidden in plain sight. And here's an erect penis on the front page of the female Freemasonry magazine, The Eastern Star. I once stood in front of this obelisk in Sydney and I must have asked 30 people what they thought it was. Not a single one of them knew. To the Freemasons of the higher degrees, the whole universe is in fact one giant and continuous sex act. This is the structure of Freemasonry. You can take this path to the top or this path. And way up here, you have the order of the mystic shrine. The mystic shrine is what's found behind the Masonic apron, because that's where life comes from. That's the mystic shrine. You have to be a 32nd degree Freemason to be asked to join the order of the mystic shrine. And then... Once you're inside, you can be invited to join this order, the Royal Order of Jesters. See Freemasonry is like Russian dolls, and Satanism is at its centre. Look at some of the pins and the pell designs for the Order of the Jesters. You can only join them unless you're at least a 32nd degree Freemason. Sex and debauchery. Erections the adoration of the phallus, masturbation, devils, demons, fallen angels, this one here mocking holiness, reference to the anus, and sodomy, anything to mock the Bible. This disgusting one has King Momus sitting on a female's face and hidden in plain sight is the square and the compass for those who have eyes to see. Bestiality, yes indeed. This bagpipe player has an erection and 
The sheep is running away scared. Self-explanatory. This one, this character has an emphasized eye, if you can see that, and the skull has an emphasized eye also. The wink and the one eye of the Indian. And the secrecy, the symbols of secrecy. On the far right here, the monkey covers his groin area, symbolizing the Masonic apron. And the black and white dogs, well, they symbolize the checkered floorboard of the Masonic lodge, which is sexualized male and female principles. The horned god, where evil and good don't exist. And in the first degree, Masons are given a Bible stamped with a square and compass, oblivious to the inherent mockery and the foundation of the whole fraternity, as alluded to here with a genuine royal order of jester's private lapel. This is a certificate that a jester receives after his initiation, and you see here their patron is named King Momus, and he was a god or a daemon, which is a variant of the word demon, who was expelled from heaven, as the legend goes. Sounds just like Lucifer, because it is. Did Freemasonry disassociate themselves from the tax-exempt branch of Freemasonry known as the Jesters? Well, no, they didn't. Because, I mean, this is rare footage of an event within, within the Lodge. Now, I'm sorry about the quality of this, but this is a Masonic Lodge. So for Masons that want to say that the Jesters are contrary to Masonry, well, look. Look at these dirty old men. Masters of the Lodge with sublime morals, all married, probably all have daughters and granddaughters, yet still this inside the lodge. But for you it should be obvious, because you can see the square encompass, compass, the sex act, and the all-seeing eye right in the middle. I told you that Satanism was the oldest religion in the world, and it is. The sex act was ritualized and organized as a religion before we called it Satanism. But Satan has always been the god, the horny god, the horned god of these sex cults.